Were there any quarterbacks that you wanted to sack, but in your career, you never got a chance to? Yeah, John Elway. <laughs> Not even in practice? You never got him once? Oh, you can't touch John, man. <laughs> Get out of there. <laughs> so, actually, I did get to sack him and, uh, at the Pro Bowl. Uh, the Pro, uh, Pro Bowl, um, they had this flag football thing going. It was after I re retired, so it was a retired guy's playing. For some reason, I ended up on Steve Young's team and we were playing against John's team. And I got to sack him a couple times. And I, I pulled his flag, yes, but I, I roughed him up a little too. <laughs> Finally, I'm not going to get fired if I touch you. <laughs> so at, what, at what point during your career did you know that, like, all right, I'm glad this guy's on my team? Oh, I, that, right from the start. When, when, when he came in, um, he has so much athletic ability. Now, he wasn't great at the start. Um, very few quarterbacks are. It took him a while to understand that, uh, that it's a mental game as much as a physical game in the NFL. That's why guys like uh, Tom Brady and Peyton Manning can win Super Bowls, and then John himself at the end of his career. It's not because because it's it's a mental game, uh, but he was so gifted athletically, and to play alongside an offense with somebody with that kind of just raw talent, we knew as long as we kept it close to the end of the game, we were gonna have a good chance to win at the end because because uh, you know John was calling the plays, not Dan at that point. <laughs> so we were, uh, it was it was pretty amazing to to play with him.